I'm Madam Shamil Ewan, and I'm here speaking to English as a subject. But under English, today we are going to look at parts of speech that is under grammar. And I would, I would like you to know that under grammar, there are eight parts of speech. One, we have nouns, we have pronouns, we have verbs, we have adverbs, adjectives. Conjunction, we have preposition, and lastly, we have interjection. So, today we must now focus mainly on nouns. And under nouns, we are going to define what nouns are. From there, we shall now down to types of nouns or classes. At times, you can, be, you can call them terms or categories of nouns. So, to begin, Let's look at nouns. This is in English. This is a common word. Very, very different from contemporary phrases of today. So we are going to look at nouns. Definition of nouns. A noun, in simpler terms, a noun is an empty word. But another different definition of a noun, we can say a word of just no meaning as an empty word, we can say it is part of speech that is used to name places, name persons, name things, or name ideas. So let's look how these nouns are used to name persons. It is an empty word. Mostly is used to name persons. We have names, places, and ideas. Under persons, we can say a mother. A mother is an example of a person, a boy, a girl, or a child. When it comes to things, we can say a child. A table, a desk, if you see. Next, when it comes to places, you can name places like Nairobi, a leg, if you see. Ideas have ideas like idea of, idea of faith. A person can have an idea of faith, justice. Fantasy, etc., etc. You can give more examples as we continue to read them. Next, let's look at classes of nouns. Classes or types of nouns. Types of nouns have a number of them. One of them we have no pronouns and common nouns. Next we have abstract and concrete nouns. We have singular and plural. We have countable and uncountable nouns. You will look. You will have to look for three that are the meaning. And make sure you read those together. Today, our focus is going to be on proper and common nouns. So let's look at them and see what exactly they are. So, proper and common nouns. We shall begin with proper nouns. 
then later on we shall look at the common man. So definition. What is a proper noun? A proper noun is a type of noun that is used to name specific or particular persons, places, things, or ideas. Type of noun. That is used to name specific keyword specific. Sorry. Then let's just look at some of the examples of this proper noun. Examples of proper noun. One, we have Mount Kenya. Next example, we have Mansi Nzeri. It is the name of a person, therefore, it is a proper noun, and therefore, ensure that the first letter is always capitalized. Next, we have Lake. My Vasha. It is also capital. My Vasha is a proper noun. Next, let's look at some of the examples of proper nouns in sentences. Can you come up with more examples in your book? But for now, I'm going to give you a short that you can go, read, and give more examples of your own. So now let's look at examples of proper nouns in sentences. How can we use proper nouns to construct sentences? Now let's see one example. Let's use this one. Mount Kenya. It's known for its sorry. Mount Kenya is known as a snow. Next, let's use machinery. It's the name of a person, but it's the name of a mountain. Machinery is it's 
You can give more examples. What is sentences are for an example. Give for example. Next, let me look at common nouns. Common nouns. In this class, one, you can suggest that common noun is a type of noun that uh, I use mainly to give general idea of something, general idea of things, or of certain people, for example. So now let's look at the example. Examples of this. Examples of common noun. One is now a This is things. So let's look at examples of common nouns. One, we have a politician. Two, we have an We have a confidence. And last year we can say a manager. So let's look at the example in sentences. In sentences. So we can say a quality. 
Thank you. And then make sure you do the and bring your microphone. 